Hey guys, in this video I want to show you how I do these stretch bindings. A lot of people have been asking. So this is a stretch binding on the cuff. On this blue one you see I actually did this by hand using a domestic machine using a zigzag stitch which gives it quite a bit of stretch. Um, on this next one I'm going to show you doing it with a binder. So this is a stretch binding and I'm just going to do a straight stitch and you'll see that it's, it retains a lot of stretch. With the binding attachment here, uh, this is a 90 degree which allows doing curves a lot easier. And I have my machine set with a really long stitch length, almost as long as the machine will do. Um, this stretch binding is kind of a pain to uh, feed. It doesn't feed very well, so I kind of have to pull on, on the backside. And I add a lot of slack here, so I have a lot of binding unspooled. And I don't want this to be in tension as I'm, as I'm sewing. And I also don't want the fleece to be in tension. So I have the cuff aligned into the, into the binder here. Uh, and I like to start and stop right around the seam for the sleeve. And as I sew this, I'm gonna be pulling on the backside to keep feeding. And I'm just gonna do straight lines, rotating the cuff as I go. And then I'll end back here at this to do a finished seam uh, within the, the binding itself. So I'm back to where I started. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna pull quite a bit out to where I have a, a bit left over. And then I can finish the two ends of the binding together and then stitch it back down on top of the cuff. So using the quilters binding trick where you do the 45 degree cut, I join my two pieces of binding together. I've overlaid them over the edge. Now I just need to run a straight stitch to close that in and secure it in place. And again, this has more than enough stretch um, but you can definitely break these straight stitches if you pull really hard on it. And there you go. That's the elastic cuff and uh, using a straight stitch machine and a binder.